What is going on guys? So today we're going to do something special. I'm going to be eyeballing all of these different uh, boxers in different fighting games since we've been playing bo boxers uh, in, in Street Fighter, for example, with Ed uh, recently and also Steve Fox, which I'm enjoying both of those. But I, I'm going to look at it not through the perspective of who's good based off of their meta, but who more closely resembles actual boxing at, if they were to be, at, who's the closest to being an actual boxer with all of the different elements that come with boxing. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at the ones that I've seen so many people reference. Uh, so it might be somebody that you like, you're going to be pleasantly surprised because you, you know, this is somebody that you adore, but I'm going to look at all these guys and I'm going to say basically who's the best one, right? Just from eyeballing what they do. All right, here we go. So the first guy that we're going to look at is TJ combo. Now, so many people have told me, I've not seen him actually, but so many people have told me you got to look at TJ combo. TJ Combo just entered the chat talking about Steve Fox, the best box. You, TJ Combo saying, do I not exist? What's going on? So there's a lot of TJ Combo people out there that's telling me, I got to take a look at TJ Combo from Killer Instinct. So we're going to look at TJ Combo. We're going to see what he does. Then I'm going to determine, you know, if it's close to boxing or not. And then we're going to look at somebody else. And then at the end, we're going to kind of figure who's the best one. All right, here we go. Now, uh, okay. All right, he just did a spin. He just did a spinning back fist. Was that a, was that it? All right, so we got to find something, another video. Kudos to final round fight for this video. I'm just picking a random video that has a gameplay of him, and we're going to take a look. I'm not going to be understanding the metadata or anything like that, so. Okay, right off the bat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I was about to stop it because he did a, bit, a spinning back fist. But as I paused it, because of the spinning back fist, he is now throwing his back, diving. Oh, that sounds kind of weird. He's diving with his back into his opponent. Hey, listen, he could be a good character. He could have a great backstory. He could yeah, I mean, be fun to use, and he could have great date meta, uh, like, data, like frame frames and buttons and stuff like that and good neutral buttons whatever and he could be a good character to win with or a fun character to use but my man just did a back spinning back fist and he just threw his whole body like a missile let's keep watching though <clears throat> flying e Spinning back for us again. It doesn't even look like... Okay, he has a... I've seen him throw one. Okay, he has... Looks like he has two different jabs. It, jab animations. Three different jab animations so far. Two double spinning back fists. Grab, slam. Spinning back fist again. Kick, spinning kick. Okay, all right. Stop it right there. We're going to stop right there. We're going to go to the next person. But before I go, this is who you guys thought was more of that I was going to enjoy as a, uh, a, a person who has done boxing, who loves boxing, who loves the sport, who watches the sport, and who now plays fighting games. And I've adopted Steve Fox. You guys pointed to TJ Combo. Listen, again, I don't, I don't mind if you like him, if you like his backstory. He's just cool. That's fine. He could be cool. He could, you know, do all that stuff. My man's closer to an MMA fighter than he is a boxer. This is more tailored. So he's kicking. He's throwing knees. Uh, he's doing spinning kicks. He's doing back fists. He's throwing his body into the opponent. He's doing double back fists. Um, 
yeah, he's closer to MMA than he is to actual boxing. Okay, the next one is Vanessa from King of Fighters. You guys have told me to check out Vanessa from King of Fighters, so that is what I am doing right now. Uh, I love that backdrop, though, with the sun kind of setting, or is it rising? Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at this, um, and let's see what Vanessa does. Let's see if she's good. Vanessa... Yeah, let's, she doesn't have boxing gloves. I love when they have boxing gloves. It adds to the allure for me. But they don't have to have it if they're faithful to doing all the things in the sport. All right, here we go. Round one. Ready? Go. Okay. Nice uppercut. Okay. All right, she slid on the floor with her fist. I get it, man. They got to have certain tools, right? I get it. All I'm saying is how is that more accurate than Steve Fox? That's, that, that's all I'm saying. That's that's all I'm saying. But so far, she's way more accurate than TJ Combo. Let me let me uh, keep looking at this. Hold on. Let me see because she can have more stuff. I'm not just going to omit them because they do, like, some crazy moves. I, I need to see if they at least have – Things that are faithful to boxing in, like, in abundance. Okay, of course, everybody got to jump. Good combo. Nice jab. Jump jab. Oh, she got a drop kick. Uppercut. Ooh, I love that go back, go forward kind of thing. She looks to be a speed character, but I love that she did that dash back, dash forward. I like, I like that. That that so far, I don't know, man. So far from what I've seen, she, she, I'm liking her. Ooh, that step back is so crazy. <clears throat> she got the uppercut. She kind of reminds me of Ed. <laughs> that slide. Nice. Takes a glove off. Okay, I think for the most part. I've seen what I need to see. I like what I see from Vanessa. I actually do like it. Although she has a running drop kick, she has a slide punch. I like how her jabs are set up. I like that she's a, <clears throat> she appears to be a lightweight type boxer. <clears throat> she has quick dash in and out movement so fast that she could in and out and juggle. Uh, in the middle of her juggle, she could go in and out and continue to juggle. I think that that's uh, actually really cool because, you know, it lends to showing her as a fast fighter ethos, the ethos of a fast, a speedy fighter. Now, I do know that most of these fighters in these games, they're not really based <clears throat> so much on boxing itself as they're more based on boxing anime. Particularly the Hajime no Ippo series, which I've watched and I enjoy. But the good thing is that the Hajime no Ippo series is 100% rooted and based off of real life boxing. So she's a fast fighter. She's a quick fighter. She's she's really she's really good. I like her combos. I like how she throws her jabs. I like how she her blocking animation is not crazy for me the whole this kind of thing uh it's okay but it's not like you know it, it, i prefer these kind of animations but so far so good i'm liking vanessa all right let's take a look at none other than dudley you guys have i think this is literally more even more than balrog the guy that you guys have been saying, you need to check him out. You need to check him out. You need to check him out. Now, we're not going to play with him. And again, it's not about how fun he is or how good he is in the meta or if he's high tier or if he's mid high tier or S tier. It's not about any of that stuff. It's not about his frame data or anything. It's just about eyeballing 
his move sets and determining how much or how much of an abundance is it closely related to boxing itself itself in in real life let's take a look okay so i found out that uh dudley was never in street fighter 5 he was only in street fighter 3 and street fighter 4 so my apologies no wonder i'm like why is he fighting exactly like ed then i look up and it is ed that was a good mod whatever who did that 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 was an amazing mod anyways we're gonna look at actually dudley um, I think this is Smug's uh, D Dugley combos. Um, Smug, I, 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 I've heard uh, that he was the best Dugley or one of the best Dudleys out there. Um, so this is to like this is his video uh, that we're going to be looking at to see how Dudley fights. I'm about to say, he, so does Dudley kick? Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he has a quick flicker jab situation. He's jabbing like crazy to the body. And then, yeah, that's like a quick flicker jab. And he has a nice uppercut. Is it? This is actually kind of a crazy comp. Okay. So he does a kick. I've not seen him kick. Uppercut. Okay. Can somebody try to hit him so I can at least see his blocking animation? Wow, his combos are very structured. Yo, these combos are crazy. What the <laughs> Okay. All right, we have to see a different video because the, 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 these videos are not going to even show him being... I want to see his defense too. But so far, his offense is really tight. is really, really uh, reminiscent of actual boxing. There's really no frills that I'm seeing here. He's really just... Unless Smug is not kicking or doing anything other than the punches, it looks incredibly tight. Um... And, of course, he wears boxing gloves, which is always a plus. Uh, so, so far, I'm really liking Dudley. But let's take a look to see uh, a different video. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I like his stance so far. Okay. He's not really doing a block animation. He's just, like, standing there. He blocked like this. Okay. That that's mm, that's okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, if I feel like a block like this really happens when you're not expecting, you're in the middle of a punch, you're about to punch, or you just finish your punch and you close quickly as you see the punch coming at the last second. It's not really like a. This is more of a, a proactive blocking. This is more of proactive blocking. This is more proactive blocking. These kind of things are kind of reactive blocking in boxing uh, where you're doing it because you're seeing it at the last second. And that's how they have him blocking the body with that, that kind of like that X move. Mm, not a fan of that, but still offense looking crazy. Okay, he threw her. Oh, did he, did he do an elbow drop? He has an uppercut. Again. Again, I'm not going to be super picky on that stuff because I know that it's a fighting game and it needs these kind of things, but I'm just pointing them out. I like that block animation where he threw the arm up. Okay. Um, 
I like him. I like him. I like him. I think he he represents the sport very well. Uh, of course, there's certain things that he does that you know there's limitations. Um, well, he's creating limitations simply because of the things that he does in terms of like throwing an elbow drop and all that. This looks like a face right here. Ain't that crazy? This looks like a whole face, eyes, nose. Is this like an Easter egg that I just found out? That's crazy. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I like his jab. It looks good. He has the flicker jab, obviously uh, taken from the anime aspect. But, again, that anime aspect is taken from real life. Uh, they just kind of over-sensationalize this or, over, or hyperbolic. It's in a hyperbolic way where they make it over the top more larger than life. So I get it. I know where it's rooted from, which is just somebody throwing quick jabs. So I still appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, this is um, is uh, he's pretty decent. He's I don't necessarily his defense is OK. Uh, the way he, he animates for defense, his animations for offense is pretty good. Not too many off the wall stuff. He looks really rooted. Um, so I would have to say that he's probably my favorite right now going into all of these. Uh, so let, let's take a look. All right. And now we have Balrog. You guys have asked for Balrog. And now we have him. I'm going to see how he plays in more recently. Again, I've played with Balrog as a kid, but I don't mean that I paid attention. Right. I was a kid. Let's see what he does now. <laughs> There's no escape. And he's like the godfather of being a boxer in a fighting game, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Was there a fighting game boxer before Balrog? I don't think so. Because back in Street Fighter 2, I think Street Fighter 2, that was like one of the first fighting games, right? I could be wrong, but like what was coming before that, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think he might have. He might be the, the, the grandfather of, of boxers in fighting games. So you got to get that respect. He has to get that respect. <clears throat> okay, a trip. Overhead. That's cool. He has an overhead. That's really, really cool. Like, uh, overhand punch. Good, powerful, really deep, straight right. I'm liking it. Nice. And he swayed back there. That was a sway back. Let's see. Yeah, that was a sway back. Oh, man. Not many gimmicks. Blocking. Blocking with the proactive blocking style. He, he, he feels like he hits like a tank. Okay, good block, good block. He's obviously... Uh, derives from Mike Tyson. He has the kind of peekaboo style, but he's also using that and kind of closing it in more to block, which I'm loving. The animation is very, very akin to actual boxing. No, no, to, no frills either. No crazy stuff. I don't see no kicks. He obviously he has gloves on, which is beautiful. He has a peekaboo style. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. His stance, even his idol, his stance is very reminiscent of boxing. Very, very, of actual boxing. Good sway back. Love that. Good combination. Good animation with the uppercuts of the body. Okay, let's see what even that nothing, nothing crazy okay he spun around he did a spin hey listen we got to mention it but so far he is the most rooted in the sport that i've seen of the ones that we've been watching oh man this is making me want to play as him it's crazy. He's actually really nice. Really good. He has a head sway animation. 
and I'm uh, I'm guessing that that helps him either dodge punches or dodge project projectiles. But the head sway it was actually pretty cool. That was actually pretty cool, cool animation to see. Yeah, so he's obviously he's anticipating some sort of a fireball from her from that distance. She does a movement and he reacts with the head sway, so maybe it allows him to escape the fireballs but uh that just that animation was really good because he's really rolling with that animation good uppercuts and straight animations that's a good that's a good two one combo yeah that that block is really good Oh man, please bring him to Street Fighter 6. <laughs> Whoa, and he there's no frills. There's no frills. He's not throwing fireballs. He's not doing anything. He's not even I, I didn't see one kick. The only frill I saw was one spin. Uh, everything else has been rooted. Uh in all those animations are rooted in in actual boxing. So so far, by miles, by miles, it's ball rock. So far, it's Balrog. Now, we have Ed here. Of course, I've already done Ed videos. I already kind of understand what Ed does. His stance, amazing. He has a really good back foot fighting stance where he has the hand ready, the, the, the straight ready to shoot. The jab is low, so he could easily get into his uh, Philly shell style. But he does carry some frills, right? Like this. This is some frills. He's about to throw. He was going to throw either a flicker, uh, you know, the pull, the snatch, uh, or the shot. Uh, but there's frills with him. But his animations are really good. His defensive animations, his block animations are very, very good. Um, and his punishing animations are good as well. But I still believe that. Bullrock is much more tighter than he is in terms of being closer to the sport. Dudley as well, much more tighter than he is. But he's tighter than, for example, TJ Combo, right? He's much tighter than TJ Combo. Um, and I, I would put him in the realm of, like, maybe a Vanessa. Uh, maybe Vanessa's a little bit better uh, than he is in terms of representing the sport pure like the purity of not having too many crazy things going on because he got a lot of crazy things going on but in terms of his boxing animations when he is boxing um they're very very good uh that's one of the reasons why i got balrog at the top right now is because when balrog the whole thing of balrog is good like that he doesn't even have the frills he, he's so pure uh but this is this is really good he's really good as well so we've already seen ed but of course, we're gonna close it out with. I mean, what can I say about Steve Fox? He pretty much has it all, right? He 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 has it all. Um, when it comes to the boxing element, the fact that he's on a 3D plane, which lets him move left and right, which is a critical thing when it comes to boxing angles and setting up angles, which is appropriated in in Tekken because you could actually make people miss creating an angle hitting them while being on an angle that's all there but his, his animations he has a plethora of boxing animation for example he has that wide looping hook but then he also has a short sharp hook so it's almost like he runs the gamut of all the different things that you see in boxing. He can change into a peekaboo style. He could change well, and now in Tekken Eight, he can change into the you know the the flicker. Well, no, actually, I, he's been able to do this. It's the Muhammad Ali style, I think. The the, the Lionheart stance is the new stance. But he has that foot shuffle animation that you could you see from Muhammad Ali. Steve Fox is just that guy, right? That crazy, that, that nice little uppercut. The shoe shine. It's just... Steve Fox got it, man. He got it. it all these other boxing characters... Shoe shine, so clean. Doubling up the left hook, right? 
the shoe shine animation, even the way he does it, like the way he he animates, is really 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 good. Um, I'm gonna have to give it to Steve. Steve Fox still got it. He still has it because he is he does encompass almost everything. Does he have frills? Yeah, sure. He steps on your foot, which is not far removed from the realm of boxing. As you do step on feet every once in a while, dirty boxing is a thing. You don't do it to hurt their foot, but you do it to kind of keep them in place, kind of set set some stuff up, <clears throat> make it hard for them to maneuver, make them kind of trip over themselves. A lot of different things that you could do uh, to tr use that as the dirty boxing. But he has, you know, very little frills. Obviously, you know, there's fire and all that stuff. I don't care about that stuff because I know that they have to do that to put em emphasis on certain moves. He does spin around a few times, which is not really indicative of actual boxing. But at the end of the day, he is the guy that has it all. He, is, he does have the peekaboo. He does have the flicker stance, which is the kind of the defensive kind of back foot stance. But then he has an aggressive stance. And then he's in between all of that when he's in his normal stance. Um, and then he could sway his head. He can move his head around. You can literally just hold that button and just he'll constantly move his head around. And then he could slip to the left, slip to the right on a dime. Uh, you know, he could step back and hit you with a counter. Uh, he could duck in and you miss because you're hitting a, a high and he's coming in low. He has it all. Um, in comparison to all these guys that I saw, you know, he has it all. But I will have to say that other than Steve Fox, right, we, we, we did this to see if anybody was better than Steve Fox because everybody was sending me little things about uh, so this is, you should try you know, Dudley, you should look at Ball Rock. I looked at them. They're good. They're good, but they're they they have forced limitations because they're on a two D plane that Steve Fox benefits from. Uh, that makes him more in line with what you know what you would want to see from an actual boxer that's representing the sport in terms of the animation and the things that you can do. But the second best one, clearly to me, is the grandfather of all these guys, Bull Rock. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, again, it's not about who's better or who's worse or whatever. Uh, if I was to list it, I would say Steve Fox is number one. Bo Rog is number two. Dudley is number three. Uh, then I would say Vanessa. Then Ed. And then TJ Combo. If I could take TJ Combo and not even put him on the list, I would. Because he's an MMA fighter masquerading as a boxer <laughs> but he's there because you guys have have asked about it so anyways there you have it let me know what's your list are there people that i'm missing let me know about other people maybe i'll take a look at them as well but do i think that they're gonna probably match up to steve fox no i think steve fox is the king of boxing but can they maybe battle a dudley or a balrog it's possible since they're they're on a 2d plane but balrog he is pure very, very pure. Even more pure than Steve Fox. In 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 his in his animation simplicity. He doesn't have more tools, but he's pure like he only did like one spin from what I saw, and everything else was in line with with boxing stuff. All right. Anyways, until the next one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a different video, but hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.